gets here. So it's uh, March 28th, 10 o'clock. This is a special meeting. But 8 o'clock. Oh, 8 o'clock. I'm sorry. I'm too used to this. Commissioner meetings. Okay. Uh, roll call. McMurphy. Here. Klein. Here. Fisher. Here. Bush. And Baker. I have on here. So. <clears throat> Morning. Uh, okay. Uh, approve, but we got a quorum, so approval and disapproval of minutes of January 17, 2023, special meeting. Any additions or corrections? Anybody sees? Okay. That's that. We'll have a roll call vote. Nick Murphy? Yes. Klein? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Bush? Yeah. Okay. okay. Financial report. Approve or disapprove of that. Anything you need to be aware of, Jeremy? No, the only thing that ever would take place as there are times when um, we just have a carryover from something. Um, in our particular case right now, we're turkey hunt. So there might be a sponsor um, a check that was deposited um, after that hasn't rolled over. To, and sometimes that's what you'll see in pledges that go to um, the Economic Development Committee that you know, they, there may be something there. But I think everything is um, standard, normal. Okay, I'll make that motion to approve the finances. I'll second. Okay, all in favor, roll call vote. McMurphy? Yes. Klein? Yes. Please. Yes. Five, approved, disapproved the audit for fiscal year 21 22. I didn't see anything in there, any letters or anything they were concerned about. Was that say anything to you, Jeremy? No. Okay. And one thing to point out. Uh, we'll get to it more at number nine, but this is the last one that we'll have from her. She's retired. Surely she had internal control would be a problem. <laughs> Was it? No, I I think she, from my understanding, is just to you know go retire, maybe do some some stuff on the side, but. Um, yeah, I mean, well, there's very few audits that, that I'm involved with that there's not an inter internal control problem due to lack of personnel, yeah. mainly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all in. yeah, she, she. Every time I called, they answered the phone. So they had people, but... <laughs> um, yeah. I'm at for us. Right. Oh, you, yeah. I'm okay. handling the finance. Oh, right. right. Uh, to, it's not spread out enough to suit most of them. That's a standard mm -hmm. problem. Um, okay. Anybody got any questions or... Yeah, I can. I'll move to approve the audit. Just, till Brody gets here, it's just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> we got a second? Yes, second. Okay. Uh, okay. Roll call, McMurphy? Yes. Klein? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Maybe something with auditors, because the, the company that the tech center had for auditors retired, too. I wonder so. if it's all the same. So maybe maybe it's just time for all the 
auditing companies to change hands or something. Maybe there's new rules that make them <laughs> say no more. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, number six, action on payment of outstanding bills. And I guess we've got two here, right? Correct. Uh, yes. One to her for thirty-four sixty-five, and one to keep. Who is that? Uh, oh, Christy, Christy Dobbins. Dobbins. Yeah, they all two hundred and fifty. Use um, her. The the one that we'll talk about here in a bit apparently is affiliated with her as well. So. And what's her? My understanding, she does all the paperwork and and the financial. It says on the front what she. Corporation and financial statements. Yeah. And notes for the year ending. So twenty two. I think she does all the typing. It's yeah. Okay. That's kind of odd. Yeah. But it goes to two different people. I mean, been, it's been that way though um, since I've looked back for, okay. for quite a while. That they just she hires out to that for that portion of it. Okay. Well, I don't think we've got any choice but to pay her bills. We approved it, so yeah. Uh, I got a motion to approve that the payments. Uh, move to pay the second. McMurphy. Yes. Klein. Yes. Fisher. Yes. Okay, update possible action on signature to re and bank account appointees. Yeah, so uh, apparently there was something that was supposed to be signed and, and um, done uh, with Bank Central. I had called them and uh, they said that they did not have the signature. So actually, Melissa, but I wasn't able to pick it up because I'm not on there, so Melissa was uh, gracious enough to pick it up for us, and this is it right here, correct, Melissa, that's just um, a signature, looks right, like two spots, maybe this two spot, this here. right here, this is my first looking at it, but I think it's pretty simple, looks like there's a signature right here for you, Melissa. Okay. Um, like they mark everything that needs to be filled in in that part. And then account agreement. This is again for all of you to be able to sign on it. And whenever Brody gets here, I can do that. Um, now you want all those bills signed? Just I, think that's, later. I think that's probably yeah. best anyway, just in case, since um, there's such a smaller number with this. Similarly, it's like fax. Fax, if if we need to do a, a signature by fax, which I don't even know, oh, do they work? <laughs> Is there a fax machine still? Around? We have a fax machine. Do you More in one place, you think? On her? Yeah, there's a, the last page. I saw there was something there too that they were needing. Center blue. The only one we need to do this for, do we have some funds at uh, any of the other ones? There's um, some at Community Bank, there there was nothing there, like nothing that um, we take funding out of. So, communities. Sorry about that, Stan, I wrote, I started in your... It's okay. Go ahead and 
and signed it for me. <laughs> I started with an R. You'll have to <laughs> scribble that out. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't think anybody uh, pays attention to the signatures. Last time we did that, you had to go to the banks with and. Uh, with an ID, your ID, yeah. Yeah, and in some that that is required. Um, Alva State Bank uh, does require an ID, um, and I think what it is for some, it's if you are affiliated with that bank already and your ID is on file, that's perfectly fine. Um, I think in some cases, and Stan, for some reason, I thought with you. That your ID expired. That they like had. I went down there within the last say, years. I went down there not too long ago and gave them all my information because they didn't have. Yeah. I don't have anything at Central. So I think with Bank Central, they but they didn't say anything this time around. So if they do require it, I'll let you know. But I think, I think we're good for it. I'm not. I'm not sure that's what that meant, Stan. I don't know if they expired to bank, but I'm not sure. And I got hit up about this last week about my driver's license being expired. Yeah, yeah. and that could have been because so they I, just need I did thing. let it go about six months over. Or so. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. <laughs> Look, you live in Alma, Alma. Right? Yeah. 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 Mine wasn't quite expired, but they they did hit me up, and it's it's due this month. Is yeah. why. I was just I was really afraid they was going to make me take the tests again. <laughs> we got by without doing that. So, and um, if uh, you know, I, I get Brody's and that'll be great. Yeah. I'll bring it there if I chance they don't accept it from me. Then Melissa, I'll just. Well, I was going to say I could even take it and just have Brody come down by the and stuff. Okay. And yeah, that might be good. If you want me to, whatever's easiest. Yeah, I'm going to make it easiest for you. So. Oh. Okay, number eight. Update possible action on new board member Bob Baker. Well, he's here. We really can't say. <laughs> <laughs> so, that a motion to approve? Yes. <laughs> Second. Roll call, I guess. McMurphy? Yes. Klein? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Congratulations. Welcome well. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for serving. Yeah. Okay, number nine, update possible action on new auditor for Woods County Economic Development Association 22-23 fiscal year. So I, I can give you some um, information on it. You have some things that are there. Uh, what I can point out is so our previous auditor has been Kimberly Meyer, and she has given all of her stuff to Michael Green. Now, I never have talked to a Michael Green, but there's a person, his name's Jack, actually. He didn't give me a last name, and as you can see in his email, he responds as Jack. Um, and he stated he actually had Sonia um, in the room with me um, and said when you see uh, for all three audits on his email he's referring to Woods County Industrial Development Authority, the um, arena, and the Avard Rail Park. Um, so that's what Kimberly had done, all three of those. And her price was roughly $3,500. Um, plus that 250 that that Christy Dobbins was so really looking at about you know 37 to 38 range. Uh, he states in his email that um, their estimate range is 3,700 to 5,000. So there's quite a difference there, and also states that the reasoning there is uh, depending on the risk and availability of records. Um, we have all of our records here, but one thing to point out with them, they are in Stillwell, so it's uh, quite the distance. They would have to travel. I'm sure that's part of also that estimated range because they'll charge for um, themselves um, driving. And uh, the, 
that's what um, at least we got from him. Not a whole lot. Um, I also reached out to Jana Walker, who um, is rather well known for um, her services. Uh, she did submit a proposal, and uh, one thing um, to say that uh, you know she she gave everything of what's expected. Her uh, estimated range is uh, quite a bit um, higher, six thousand to six thousand eight hundred and fifty. Um, what I will point out, uh, if you need a little more time, we won't be needing these services until our fiscal year runs from uh, September 1st to August 31st. So um, that's our range. So when we start hitting the August time frame, we will be probably more uh, involved in this. We can, I guess, even seek out um, other possible auditors. But this is at least to bring to your attention now. You may even say, hey, I think we just go with this direction and let's do that. But it's now open for all of you to discuss. When it says 3700 to 5000 per audit, that means that they could with the three, they could spend fifteen. We could spend fifteen thousand dollars among the three units here to get the right. others done. We don't pay for the, the other, other two, but, but they, yes, it would be total. a total. And that is the price for all three. Meaning, if we decided to break off and go with Jana, for example, um, they're probably going to change the price to, of the other two. I don't see them doing it by much, but he packaged that as if all three. What the committee doesn't have to be audited? No, they're under they're under this. Under this. So, <laughs> okay. economic development committee um, is there. All their paperwork is reviewed through this. Through this. Yeah. Would, would there, is there an advantage to having the same company do all three audits? I don't know because really, um, I'm not that affiliated. I'm not affiliated at all with the arena. So um, I haven't even looked at that. Avard, I've been affiliated because of these ARP and PREP funds in that part, but their paperwork does not cross over into our stuff, um, with the exception of you know pledge to the Economic Development Committee. That's the only ties that we have there. So there's really nothing that brings the three together other than they're all housed in the same building. And um, so Stillwell is where they do come from. Um, it sounds like also that when talking to him on the phone, he was saying, well, um, we can work well, you know, we, we can work everything electronically, meaning I will have to scan all of our papers that we have and electronically send it to him. That'll be time consuming. Um, but so even though it is cheaper, it may be your time. It could be a lot of my time. I do know um, just by uh, witnessing um, and, and seeing, um, Jana does Freedom West and she actually comes here for one or two days and she just sits down and does it all in-house. So that appears to be a simpler way. But again, she is quite a bit um, higher price, so there is a lot more to take into consideration um, that it could be very well, you know, if you're talking, let's say, at the high end of this this guy, 5000 you're spending at least another 1000 to 1500 And as I said, I'm happy to get any more information, or if there's other suggestions you have, uh, reach out to them as well. And Bob, you're a fisherman, so if you have any, I'm, anything I'm you listening. want to say. <laughs> I 
only have one position, and that's uh, of my deal is I try to do everything locally. Jana's not local, but she's a lot closer than Whoa. Eastern Oklahoma. Uh -huh. <laughs> and technically, doesn't she live in Freedom? No. I thought she lived. I thought they lived in Freedom. No, she lives uh, between Freedom and Moreland. Oh, okay. County. Oh, okay. Mm. They live just north of the of the caverns. Oh, okay. And west, right after you go, it, like if you're coming from Moreland, you go by the caverns, and then just to the <clears throat> north there, about right out a mile. And you can see that's their place right there to the west on mm -hmm. that blacktop road. Okay, gotcha. I always I know her family and all, or yeah. his side of the family. Yeah, they're all freedom. Yeah, they they are. Yeah, but her folks live in Major County. Oh, is it but because in they, freedom? I mean, in the Winoka School District, but they're down yeah. there on four twelve on the okay. right after you turn. From Bouse Junction and go east yeah. on the uh, back in there on the south side, Jerry Nicholson gotcha. is her dad. So, anybody I need to know where they live, I can just ask. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, that's not anybody because there's a lot of new people in Woods County that I don't know. Yeah. Isn't that, that's amazing how you see people and you're like, where is this? Um, did, did, did we at any time in the past, do you guys know, did we ever contact the other two committees and kind of just see what they were thinking about us, who they were hiring, who they were going to use? I just in talks like I was saying with Sonia, um, I don't think she's running by the committees, uh, but I think it sounds like they were probably just going to go ahead and go with this uh, Michael Green still low. I haven't gotten any confirmation. They will have to decide that. Um, Avard hasn't had their meeting. I don't know when Arena um, meets, so when they're having theirs. Of course, I mean, there'd be nothing wrong with us taking no action or whatever. Yeah. So well, you have time, so it's not like we have to decide. Next meeting in June? Yeah, next meeting will be in June. So we probably should decide, I mean, in that next meeting, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. If there's anything you want me to do, um, I, I can reach out again to Sonia and see where they stand on that. Um, if there's someone you have in mind that you want me to reach out to also. Again, as uh, you had stated, local. Um, of course, we weren't local before either being in Blackwell, but So is this something that we'll table? Yeah, we're gonna, it'll have to be on the agenda in June. If we table, if we don't take any action right now, we can, we don't. And, and we just, if you table it, you just have to bring it up at the next meeting, is what it amounts to. That sounds good. Well, and, and it sounds like we need, do need to take some action next meeting for sure, one way or the other. So, so I guess that's what you want to do if you want to table it. You, you want you got a motion? I'll make a motion to table to the next meeting. Item number nine. Okay. Second. All in favor? Well, I guess roll call vote. McMurphy? Yes. Klein? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Bob? Do so I get to this? Oh, yeah. Bob. <laughs> yes. Bob. You did this. You're on the salary now. You got a vote. <laughs> Big vote. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, number 10, update discussion, possible action on Woods County Economic Development, or no, Industrial Authority, Structure and Bylaws. And we just wanted to, we want to go over them, and uh, I don't think today, I mean, I, I, he's got us copies of them, and we'll look at them. I, I feel like that that's, uh, I feel like that we're lacking a little in the, on the Woods County part. The original bylaws were written in the 70s and it was as a Woods County Industrial Development Authority it was more focused on 
strictly ALBA people, and I think we ought to be Woods County. I don't think it's major changes, but you follow what I'm, I'm where I'm coming from. I mean, I think it should be a more well-rounded board through, for the county. But that's just my thoughts. So, yeah, that's another one uh, I think we should table, and, and in my opinion, and um, I'm open for discussion, but to at least look at them and, and then move on from there and bring it up next time. And, and in that particular situation, um, <clears throat> I have copy, hard copies I can um, scan if you would like to look at the bylaws. Um, you'll want to focus on the trusteeships. Also, I have um, what the terms are that expire. So, for example, Bob is filling a vacant um, spot that actually expires in August of 23, and then renewal would be taking place after that. So, you're aware. Um, if you would like, I can send those bylaws to everyone. Just so I think that'd be good. Yeah. that'd be good. So, I don't, unless somebody wants to do, I mean, no action on that one. Yeah. And we'll move on to 11. Update discussion, possible action regarding Winoki Incubator. Um, I actually have something to add there after I write my notes. Oh. Um, we did at one point in time have somebody who was interested in that um, Winoka incubator. Um, it was to have a custom motorcycle shop put there. But because his father was the one who was going to be doing um, the full-time work of it all and the father lives in Woodward, he decided to go elsewhere, but I wanted to let you know that at least there was some activity interest in it. I went and visited the building, and um, it it looks, you know, to be in good, fair condition. Some sweeping, but I didn't see any, you know, massive destruction of any sort or anything. Of course, I didn't turn on, you know, anything, but um, just wanted to give you an update that we. We're looking at it, um, and hopefully we can, you know, continue to get some in interest. I think there's a lot of um, with activity that's happening in Winoka. There's a good possibility you may see some some more interest in that area, um, and that particular building may get something. But as of right now, just wanted to give you an update that there was a person who did have possible interest, and in, unfortunately, their dad is an older person who just doesn't want to uh, do the travel day to day. So. Okay. Do if, or, <clears throat> uh, you got, have you got, can you bring everybody up to date or you want to do that in your, your director's report about what's going on down there? Oh, wait, I can do that. Um, down there. No, okay. okay. You all know more yeah. about number 12 than I do even, to be honest. So. <laughs> Well, no, I thought when we were on the Winoka deal about the, um, the stuff at the sand dunes, but yeah. if you've got any report on yeah. on how that deal's going. But and there's not, a, there's not a whole lot. There are events that are taking place, so if you are aware, they do have a name. They're called America's Oasis is what the area is. He's, um, he being um, the, the owner of the area, has RV spots that are built. Um, Nothing has been um, stated in regards of his next phase, but he does have a manager, a, um, a guess, um, the area park, the project manager hired, um, who started, I believe, 
two weeks ago, and so she's fairly new, and she's come to me, and I've gotten her some information, and I'm um, going to continue to um, offer our services of um, any data or statistics or reading of, of that information that she needs, but they have um, gotten a couple of events. I think one that was originally there in Wadoka, um, but left, and now they're coming back. So um, a lot of those UTV sand dunes, um, ATV uh, type events. So there's going to be at least a lot more foot traffic that's coming towards the area. Have, have they have they ran the water lines out there? I don't think it's been run yet in talking, but I know it's been approved. Um, and, and perhaps I, I could be. Uh, mistaken. No, the only reason I ask about that is about all I know specifically. We we helped them out with ARPA funds and, yeah. and bought the, mm -hmm. the material yeah. for them to extend it out there. Yeah, so and I know that they, they had that part approved um, just recently uh, and so um, actual work being done, I'm not sure. Okay. Physically, That's I haven't seen, but... Do you know what we're talking about, Bob? Uh, yeah, actually, I met him at the, the gala the other night. Okay. Yeah. Uh, ben? Yes. Okay. Is Elam still involved? Yes. From okay. What I was told, Elam is uh, still involved. Uh, this person that they hired, I believe her name's Anna. Um, oh, is, Anna yes. And so she's um, running kind of the day to day operations. So. Well, Elam was a construction right. uh, project manager. And he's still involved, okay. yeah. Um, okay. All right, so there'll be no action there to take. So, number 12, update and discussion possible action regarding the airport project. And I suppose we're still there. Is no project there. It's more about getting the the uh, uh, pin down on, on the where it actually is a survey, which that's been an ongoing deal for several years now, for as long as I can remember almost. That's what I was thinking. As long as I've been here. Is there anything you want to? Uh, information to gather in regards to this particular part because this is the one part that we don't really have any conversation on other than there's a survey. Um, is there anything that you would like to do? Well, or, or at one time Sonia had a, a deal but I think that fell through. Or, uh, they were talking about a training facility of some kind or something for out there but we, we, if we can't do it. I don't know of anything that there that is wanting to happen there right now. But but there's nothing on that end that we should do. No, I mean time. we. Okay. Uh, it's just a, I guess it's some type of lease deal. Stan, correct me if I know yeah. it. And it's an annual, very small amount. Right. Yeah. But but we don't know where that property, where the property lines are. Okay. We had a place and and it got swapped out mm -hmm. is my understanding and I stand to be corrected on this but they the airport wanted to use it or something and so they decided on and made a swap but without property lines and the survey done we we don't even know if if we had a potential to do anything we don't know where we can do it for sure okay and didn't want the city working on getting yes, a survey that, out there, yeah. and that's what we were waiting on, and then just to survey it when yeah. we surveyed that. But I, I know of nothing that's pressing to... Is that a new building up there next to the highway? Isn't that a mechanic? Come to town, airplane, airplane? No, that's some gentleman that has something to do with the project in Winoka. Oh, okay. Okay. And that's where? Out there? Uh... Right across from John Deere, there's three individual hangars, and his is the north one. Okay. Um, he just needed a place to put his airplane. 
and the hangars were full at the airport. And so, and, you know, he's not going to be here every day, but when he comes in, he wanted a place to store his airplane. Sure. Hmm. This, I mean, I may have, have the wrong guy because the guy I thought was out there lives right behind me. Well, you're thinking Gary Holton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he bought the old Kenny, Kenny Chris building okay. a couple of years okay. ago. All right. And he's he, didn't, been, he didn't build a new one. I thought, no. I thought he was done that. <clears throat> no, he bought right. one of the original buildings at the airport. And he has been very busy. And he has one full-time employee. And, uh, he's bringing a lot of aircraft up from Dallas area. Uh, that He was in Denton, service in the Dallas area, and kind of got tired of their tight regulations. Came back to Alpha where he grew up, and those people followed him up here. So he's been a good asset for the airport and the community. And that's his, he's a Halton? Yeah. I don't know, related to who, I don't have any idea, but it's uh, We well, just go south of town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Haltons. Uh, <coughs> and then his brother, Ralph, he's in Wichita, but he's even talking, maybe, about coming back. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hey, I wasn't aware of that. Okay, about all the news on the airport, then, from what's going on out there. I mean, we don't have anything, there's no action here until, uh, unless, Bob, you don't, you aren't aware of any potential out there for new? Uh, there's, there's something being talked about, yes. That's... That's all I know right now. Well, is, I, I don't need specifics, yeah, but is, I mean, if the county could could be involved to help or whatever, yeah. I mean, that would make this survey, if it was something we could do, you know, to to go along with it, to help the, the, yeah, there, the there deal. There is somebody talking about possibly moving a business to the airport. Uh, it's you know, just early, early you know, stages and... I need to follow up with him. Well, I mean, we don't want to step on the city's toes, but if it's something that we can assist with, like on this property, a building, whatever, is kind of what this is about. Yes, yes. Well, let me follow up on that and I'll get back with you. Okay. Okay. No action there. Uh, Jeremy, you're up. Um, so as with County Economic Development Director, um, I'm just going to give an update. Monthly, I, I continue to send, Bob's not aware, but you'll get monthly just a report of what I did that month. Um, and just uh, kind of a little general uh, of what it is. If you want more details or more specifics, just let me know and I'm happy to um, let you know what I can. Um, but uh, right now the big parts that I'm dealing with and this is going to continue till May is um, the ARPA and PREP funds that have been allocated to the Avard Rail Park. That process is um, it's a grueling one so uh, the fact that they said there are funds there um, you have to now submit applications as to what you're going to do with them, which myself, in working with the Department of Commerce, could mean that they decide, well, we're going to take those funds back and do something else with it. But then you get to this whole thing, well, legislation went through that, and you know it was already allocated. So I'm not sure how that's going to go, but I will have to, in working with um, AVAR, to get an idea of what they want to do, um, and then we're going to work with the um, consulting group that they have hired, Emblem, and work on these applications that separately, one has to be done for ARPA, and one has to be done for the PREP funds, two separate piles of funds. ARPA is solely for water and infrastructure and sewer. And then prep is uh, more of an open to do what you will with. So 
that's a lot of what I've been working on um, and talking with Department of Commerce, getting information. Uh, along with that, um, during that time, Department of Commerce, ABARD was approved of the top grant, which was a site review of the actual site that was done by a group called Insight Consulting. We have completed all of that uh, come January, and that is um, information that I believe is available. Um, if anybody wants to read that, I have that proposal to that from the consultants. Um, moving on, uh, another thing that I'm a lot of involvement is the turkey hunt, Lieutenant Governor's turkey hunt. So I'm kind of in the of that. <laughs> and um, uh, with that, I wanted to point out just some things. Um, I had, uh, uh, talking with the turkey hunt committee, uh, asked to do a business workshop. And so April 19th, we are creating a business workshop that is going to have uh, Troy Humphrey with Land Run uh, Real Estate Consulting. He's going to talk for a small part in, in regards of um, um, just kind of committee um, view. And then we have a, a business consultant, I, I, for whatever reason, can't remember her name right now, but Carrie Roberts, I believe, um, is her name, uh, but, or maybe Tammy. I, I, Anyway, um, I, I can get you that name, but she is solely more for the businesses, and so a retail business. She has been um, in the banking industry and worked with business plans and helps with business plan writing, and then also the need of business plans, um, even if you're an existing business, you know, kind of looking as projection. Um, so she's going to talk about some things, and I asked her to. Um, bring uh, some good tools and material for them. So it's going to be um, a committee or community opportunity uh, to kind of uh, hear some thoughts in, in regards to Troy Humphrey. And then after that, it'll be uh, th this other person coming in. And that goes from 1 to 3. It'll be housed here at Northwest Technology Center. So um, at happy. At the same time, the turkey hunt is turkey hunt the next week. So that will be the kind of our launch of the turkey hunt. Okay. So that Wednesday, 1 to 3, will be um, just to kind of start. We'll have Troy Humphrey here. He's one of the guests. Um, um, we'll just do that. The next day, which is the 20th, will be the lieutenant governor's dinner. So um, you'll all be invited to that. But um, that will be now. It's called Cheryl Barn. But formerly known as Baker Barn. I assume that, are you involved with, with, with the Baker yeah, part of that? Yeah, that's my brother. <laughs> okay, I had a feeling that the, there was a reason. Um, but uh, that's where that will take place. That Friday is actually, the Chamber has their exit issues, which will be the legislators will be here. So we're kind of tying uh, um, that into it as well for anybody who wants to participate with the, the whole Lieutenant Governor's um, turkey hunt and that'll wrap up anybody who wants to get toured around what we'll have um, for that Friday that opportunity more of that sit down talk about you know things that could help improve in the area as for oh one other thing yes um, so the lieutenant governor was here in uh, town um, in March I believe it was the 6th if I recall correctly but um, I, in talking to him and his aide, one thing that was brought up at the uh, um, Rotary, and I believe it was Rotary and Kiwanis together, I thought, um, uh, they wanted to have a whiteboard workshop, and Lieutenant Governor said he would himself, you know, do that whiteboard workshop, which is kind of like a, a strategic planning slash um, SWOT analysis um, for ALBA. And I have been in contact with Ryan Sproles, his uh, aide, and just recently had um, talked to him. He said that they'd like to do something after it. Um, he would like me to get involved because I've done them before for um, the Main Street programs that I've done. Um, and with that said, I, I, I do have one other. Um, I did um, go in front of the city council 
and got them to approve ALPA to join the Main Street program at the network level. It's free uh, the first year, there's no cost. I'm looking towards Winoka and Freedom as well to get um, on that. And um, I believe, uh, oh, one other thing I have, and this is something that you may be able to help me with, Randy, because um, I put a call in last week and put a call in this morning to Max Rose in regards of the building. He, he'll get to it, but okay. I you know. He said that the he last time I talked well, it was a while ago that, you know, he was rather busy and but you know, we'll get to it. But I haven't heard anything since. So well, I just we wanted to bring that we up. haven't had any issues, have we? I haven't had anybody That's, contact yeah. me. So. I've 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 been in contact with Ward Steve yeah. and doesn't appear to be any issues ongoing right now. I mean, it's just something we, we need to get done and get it lined right. out, but as long as there's no... And just to um, bring you up to speed, it's um, the building that we have, it's Westlake Drive, is that yeah. right? So we have a building there. There was um, apparently a um, meter that was being uh, used by our building as well as another building of like three different buildings right i'm pretty sure yeah, yeah. so they want to cap it each one will get their own meter but um it's just taking a bit of time because max has got a lot of work uh, well and that it's not and those are the buildings out there that uh right west of uh Mosher's. scientific research yes yeah, so that the the office or the that office deal is is an uh, Ward has bought it. Steve Ward bought it, and they have some kind of daycare. Or, I don't know an after I school after school, program. After school yeah. program deal for, and then then the industrial authority owns the middle building, which has got rented out to that Blackledge, I believe, yes. and then Harvey owns the south building, and there's only one water meter for all three. And there was a $300 bill or something Ward got awarded when <laughs> his first month and hadn't even opened, I don't think. And what, but we had a water leak and and I don't know, Harvey, I, I did yeah. talk to Harvey and he says there's a, there was another meter, but He's pretty definite um, about it. Yeah. And, and I haven't checked that, but I, I'm pretty definite there was a hydrant out there beside his building, and Max Lee and I were out there, and we turned the meter off behind the brick building and went down there, and his hydrant didn't have water. So, I, but, and Harvey finally fessed up to me that they might have used, supposedly, the meter he thinks may have went to, to, uh, the CD or the uh, Overton's, yeah. Wait, it, wait, so yeah. I mean, yeah. somehow that. Yeah. Uh, so, but it we need to get it. We're and Max Lee's supposed to, but it's going to be a pretty decent undertaking, digging those up and finding where they're teed off. And but when he gets and, done, we should know where every meter's at. There every should be a man, and everybody should have their own and their own and, supply. And he, Max Lee, was worked with the city guy there, and that. That actually, the the east side of that property is a utility easement. So uh, they're they're going to put in probably yeah. Harvey a meter and and us a meter, and Steve will get to use the meter that that he's on now. But the boys that have ours rented, that was where it was going. It there was a leak in there, and. They haven't been paying any bills. They didn't, there wasn't a bill for it to go to there, and uh, supposedly they didn't need water, but it was available, so they had it turned on, and the stool was running, or something, a leak, and uh, anyhow, so they left it go if they didn't get a bill. So, <laughs> you know, one of those deals. So, uh, but he will. He he's been to my house and work. Max Lee has, and he said it's on his list. And the cold weather is setting back, mm -hmm. and 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 stuff. So anyhow, but he will get there. And he's not he's not too cracked, and I don't blame him. 
this drives its men trying mm -hmm. to dig and find those lines without tearing them completely up because right. you can't hardly stick a nail in the ground, let alone a probe or a shovel. And that makes and sense. So, anyway, but okay, That's number all four, I have. fourteen. Stacy, you got anything to add? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we're already running long, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number 15, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. We're done.